Humans are weird. We took a vote. Cravings. Human friend O'Leary to called out. It is our designated break time. Would you like to accompany me to the beverage dispenser in order to stretch your motile appendages? Human friend O'Leary twitched suddenly at Tsk's voice, but glanced down at him with a strange smile. Sure, Tsk, tsk he said as he, his hands flew over the control panel, closing out his program and sh shutting down his computer. Tsk, tsk wondered at that. So far, every human he had seen in a professional situation took the time to completely lock down the terminal they were on before they left it for even for a short time. The behavior seemed rather unnecessary and wasteful of time, but it was not what... That was not what had the Triss concerned today. The human finished the task and leaned back in his chair. He indulged in a period of prolonged, slow movement, where he extended and contracted symmetrical muscle groups to their full extent before standing. The humans called it stretching, and it seemed necessary to their muscle function. Then the human extended his hand for Tritsk to walk on. So, how are you feeling this work cycle? Tritsk asked as he settled himself down on the human's broad shoulder. Eh, so-so. The human said, dipping his shoulders in a sudden shrug. Tsk was very experienced in riding humans, and he compensated for the movement easily enough. It was not the shrug that disturbed him, but the human's response. Humans, and human friend O'Leary in particular, were notorious for exaggerating their sense of well-being. If he was admitting that some part of his existence was unpleasant, then he was probably experiencing some severe discomfort. May I ask what the positive element of the so so is? Tsk asks as they approach the water dispenser. The usual, I guess, human friend O'Leary said with a distinct lack of enthusiasm. I like all you little guys, I get plenty of human interaction in the other departments, got an actual physical letter from my buddy Jim back on Terra. Tsk clicked in sun delight. Do you plan on sharing it with the rest of us during the sharing time tonight? Human friend O'Leary's facial muscles gave the tiniest twitch of unease at the question. Of course, the sharing sessions are not mandatory, Tsk quickly assured him, if the letter is too intimate. Nah, human friend O'Leary said with a dismissive wave of his hand. Nothing like that. It was a perfectly unintimate letter. Mostly reminiscing over old times, you know. We were in a little garage band together as kids. He was on drums. What was the purpose of the band? <laughs> asked curiously. We play music together, human friend O'Leary said. We weren't all that good, but we had a fun time. That sounds enchanting, said with a delighted skitter as human friend O'Leary sipped his water. The human smiled, and then his eyes drifted to the middle distance, and he sighed. Tsk decided that the subtle approach hadn't worked and prepared to jump right in. If the letter contained no disturbing information, then why are you so disturbed, human friend O'Leary? Tsk asked as they headed back to the desk. Say what? You have been distracted and twitchy all day. Yeesh. The human ducked his head and rubbed the back of it uneasily. That obvious, huh? Indeed. Well, no problem, human friend O'Leary said. The reason why I'm staying home tonight from sharing session is to get it out of my system. Get what exactly out of your system? The hunger, human friend O'Leary said, his voice deep with earnestness. Tsk, mulled this over while they went back to their workstation. I was under the impression that it was unwise for human to eat just before going dormant. Human friend O'Leary laughed and shook his head as he deposited tsk down at his workstation. Different kind of hunger, little bud, he said. We were in a band. Jim was on the drums and I was guitar. Some days, I just need to play. His fingers suddenly began the strange twitching pattern they had been attempting to complete all day, and the human hummed a few notes. The music gets in you, the human went on with a far-off look in his eyes. It wants to get out. Tsk stared at him uneasily, but the human shook himself and grinned down at the trisk. Not to worry, little bud, he said with a dismissive wave. I just let myself go too long without breaking out the old six string and giving her a spin. I'll tune her up and be back to normal by tomorrow. Tsk idly wondered if normal for a human meant something less confusing than the concepts that human friend O'Leary had just expressed. Humans are weird. We took a vote. Available on Indiegogo for the month of October 2020, and available for in demand through, through November. Humans are weird. We took a vote. Monty Python meets Star Trek in the second book of Human Absurdity, a short story collection that will have you chuckling for years to come. Humans are weird. We took a vote. Available on Indiegogo. Go and get your copy now.